Previously on the Great Adventures of Counterclockwise, Max Emerald and Samaya come up with the plan to rescue Princess Lily and Warlock as Mayor Mike Black announces the entire city of Cleveland is under quarantine because of the toxoplasmosis virus. Meanwhile, Fat Mike is sick of trade thugs antics and wants them dead so he can collect their life insurance policy. And now, the exciting conclusion of the Great Adventures of Counterclockwise. Let the adventures begin. This is the Cleveland Containment Camp Hotline. Please give your name and the location of the cat or cat owner you wish to report. I'm Mabel Nitty, and I'm the owner of the Shadow Crest Apartment Complex on 2017 Glen Drive, Richmond Heights. And I'm afraid the tenants in Unit 16 have cats that have not been vaccinated. And not only do I fear for my safety, but the safety of all of the other residents that live in my building. Ma'am, how many cats are in the unit? There are well over 10 cats in that apartment. For I have received word and several complaints from the other tenants about the all awful smell coming from the door. Those people and their cats need to be locked away immediately. Yes, ma'am. We'll send a team of animal control officers to that location right away. Thank you for your kind service. No, thank you, ma'am, for being such a brave and courageous citizen and reporting those tenants of yours. Because for the fact they're harboring unvaccinated cats puts us all at risk. So please, don't hesitate to report any cat or cat owner that hasn't received the vaccination. I appreciate the kind words. God bless, ma'am, and have a great day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I need another poor more. <laughs> your home, so we may have a discussion. Why, certainly, uh, right this way, officer. Uh, sure is a beautiful day. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Jenny, and my daughters, Maura and Julia. Enchanté. Mr. Franklin, each lady in your family is more lovelier than the last. Why, thank you, officer. Please, uh, have a seat. Ma, would you be so kind as to get the officer here some tea? Thank you, but no, I'm not thirsty. Mr. Franklin, what I have to discuss with you would be better in private. If it wouldn't offend them, could you please ask your beautiful family to leave the room? Why, sure. Uh, Jenny, can you take the girls and uh, step outside for a minute? Sure, honey. Come along, girls. Now, Mr. Franklin, do you know what my job entails? Yes, sir. Uh, I've heard stories. Please, tell me, what have you heard? Well, I've heard that you round up cats and their owners that haven't received the vaccine. Correct. But I'm confused. Why have you stopped by? Because I don't have any cats. The Animal Protective League just stopped by last week. They checked my home for cats and they ain't find nothing. Why, yes, I'm aware, Mr. Franklin. I read your report. But since the Animal Protective League is under new management, I've been sent to dot all the I's and cross all the T's. I assure you, it's just a formality. I just have a few questions. The sooner you can assist me, the sooner I can get out of your hair and my department can close the file on this case. Now, to my understanding, this is a two-family house and the lady upstairs, uh, Mrs. Moore, has five cats. Does she not? Yes, but uh, she moved out a few weeks ago. Now, according 
according to my papers, all cats and cat owners in this area have been accounted for, except for Mrs. Moore and her five cats. We have looked thoroughly through her quarters and found nothing. It's as if her and her cats have simply disappeared. And since this is a two-family house, we figured you could point us in the right direction. I'm sorry, but she moved out a few weeks back before this toxoplasmosis lockdown got out of control. As much as I would love to believe you, Mr. Franklin, my superiors are stickler for details. And two nights ago, one of our drones captured images of an older woman who looks a lot like Mrs. Moore leaving your garage while carrying a cat and entering the back door of this house. So, that leaves us in quite a pickle. Does it not? Uh, perhaps that was my wife, uh, carrying a small bag. She goes out to the garage often. Why, yes, I thought so too at first, until I got a chance to meet your beautiful young wife. So, if you don't mind, Mr. Franklin, I would like to run a few tests. Tests? Uh, well, what, what kind of tests? I assure you, it's no big deal. Just a small formality. Uh, what you getting out your briefcase? <laughs> Just three small items that no cat can ignore. First, it's just a small can opener and a can of Nine Lives poultry and beef favorites. <laughs> oh, that smells delicious. I haven't had wet food in weeks. Shut the hell up, Vinny. You gonna get us in our human kill. Impressive. Next, I have just a small bag of catnip. A few sprinkles here and there your lovely cabinet and give it a second <laughs> I'm about to crack Chester that catnip keeps calling me man it's calling to me it keeps calling me god damn it Vinny you better hold it together hold it together man I'm trying man I'm trying interesting well, it looks like everything is clear here, Mr. Franklin. Like I said, there's no cats here. I'm so sorry to have disturbed you, Mr. Franklin. Uh, why, no problem. Uh, I understand. You're just doing your job. Oh, and just one more thing, Mr. Franklin. I almost forgot about my trusty laser pointer pen. Let's see here. Oh, no. Keep it together. The laser pointer! Get him to me! The laser pointer! Wait, hold on! I have no idea where those cats came from! Gods! Gods! Arrest them! Police! Arrest them all! Don't take me to the camp! Your ass is mine! You're under arrest! <laughs> the laser pointer never fails. Meanwhile, Max and Samaya and Emerald return to the apartment to retrieve the flux generator engine, only to find the place is in shambles. What the hell happened here? Where is everybody? Mookow, Pretzel, Casper, Jelly. Where y'all at, man? Emerald, is that you? Yeah, what happened? It was horrible, man. The ACO. They kicked in the door. Then they took Moo Cow, Jelly, Pretzel, and Sam. Only me and Milo got away. We escaped through the bathroom window and hid in the bushes until we heard you calling us. Man, fuck the ACO. They just can't come in here and take us away like that. It's this new virus going around. And they're saying that it comes from cats. So they've been rounding up all the cats and cat owners and taking them to some containment camp. They must have taken the princess and Warlock there as well. Wait, they got Warlock too? Oh man! Emerald, can you gather up all the stray cats that live around here? <laughs> man, you ain't saying nothing. I can gather all the cats from the heights to down the way. Perfect. The flux generator engine is still intact and it's almost fully charged. Samaya, grab the computer and any other piece of equipment you can carry. Plus, we need another base of operations. Somewhere with electricity. I know the perfect place. Old man Johnson's house out in Euclid Creek. He used to give us trees. 
he just died. Now his house is abandoned. Does anybody know how to get the deacon's aunt's house? We gotta warn him not to come back here. I, I know how to get to our house. Mama used to always take me a warlock dad. All right, let's take the equipment to old man Johnson's house. Emerald, you, Casper, and Milo, gather up all the stray cats, house cats, and cat owners you can find. Samaya, while you're setting up the computer to the flux generator engine so we can track the princess, I'll find Kaya and Deacon. And then we're going to take down the ACO. <laughs> Yo, this episode of The Great Adventures of Counterclockwise was sponsored by... As the sun rises and sets over rolling green hills, there's no time like the present for an ice-cold refreshment. A cold, flavorful E. cola. A fizzy, citrus delight to wipe the sweat off your brow after a hard day in the fields. E. cola will nourish you and keep you strong and healthy. After all, it's got electrolytes. E. cola is for family, friends, and great times. A delicious taste of home. E. cola, the everybody energy soft drink. E. cola, the everybody energy drink.